Inspiration. Lift it up. I was looking in my collage papers and I found this which I liked and even the color was actually good these little butterflies here for over here you know but I, I wanted white and I remembered that I had some white butterflies and I have some different sizes and so what I want to do is if I can show you oh, I dropped some of them well darn this is a ton of them So I want to. Ugh, this is just terrible. I have cut out one of the big ones, or, or two of the big ones, because I wanted the same same size, and I'm going to stack them. Like, even though I did this right here, I was thinking about. that one there. I'm going to have to lay the canvas down so you can see this. Okay, that one there. Somewhere along in there. Okay? But I'm not going to glue it on. I'm going to actually transfer it. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and then I'm going to do it. Anyway, I have uh, now that I have a uh, moved it. <laughs> I've forgotten, but I wanted to do... There's that darn ant. I wanted to do something like this. Ah! I would move this down, except what I've got under it is too heavy. Okay. Let me just raise it up like this. Okay. Do I have it? Oh. All right. I want to do a little flock of butterflies that are that are coming around here, and some of these up here will just be the the half, like they're in flight. You see how they're getting smaller as we go up. But I also needed, I want one more size, little tiny, or smaller than this anyway, just to create distance and with depth. The ones, larger ones are closer to you. They, as they get further from you, they get smaller. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Just wanted to show you. Um, I decided this one should go right there. And I've got one over here. I did eliminate one that was in there. And then they go up like that. Okay. So, here is how I go about doing this. Um, move that one. Um, I'm going to use this mark saw, but it doesn't matter, a pencil, whatever. And this is where I want to transfer this one. And so I'm going to go around it, which I've already done. And um, I did the other one as well just so I could remember that repl that placement but I'll have to do it in two stages I won't be able to um, 
I won't be able to transfer one and the one on top until the other one is uh, transferred. So I'm going to this area that I that I drew right on top of those pretty little yellow flowers. Um, I'm going to use zinc white, and the reason I'm going to use zinc is because I can get a tr I can control how much white. So whenever I'm transferring something that's white. you have to either be transferring like it would work fine if I transferred something in this area but um, it's not going to be to show up nicely the way I would want it to um, with that flower and stuff in the background but I might want a little bit of it to shadow through. In other words, I don't want to get this just totally white white. I don't know if you can tell that it's that it is um, it's a little bit you can still see a little bit through there. Um and I want to actually just kind of smudge up that line. I don't want I don't want the line to be straight and I don't want the white to be straight. So I'm gonna do that. Now of course I had this laid down as my pattern, but to transfer it it's gotta turn over. So I have to have the opposite wing. In other words, ta da, so that I can turn this over, okay, when I go to transfer it. But I first have to let that dry um, somewhat. So I have another one here that's marked, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, uh, this one might would show up fairly well since that background is pretty solid uh, color but maybe not as much as I want it to so I'm going to go ahead and get into it a little bit So, there's that one. I'll go ahead and get all these uh, marked so that I can transfer them all at the same time. Okay, I'm going to just do really quick demonstration on how I am. Uh, this is the this is the one that's going to go right there. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm using soft gel matte and I'm getting yeah, fairly generous, generous on this old brush and I'm going to do one quick coat over it. I'm going to pick it up with my tweezers and lay it down in my spot and before that does anything I want to go ahead and spread it out now while that's still wet but in place, I'm going to use this palette knife to just make sure that it's getting contact. 
good contact and no bubbles from the medium. I really feel like I'm mumbling and it's probably because I'm pretty tired today and it's getting dark, I think. I have a light bulb out in here. Okay, so that is the way I'm going to do all of them. Um, this one, I have already put down in that same process and I really it doesn't matter to me how long it stays there I mean I I could leave this until tomorrow morning and then remove it just fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I usually leave it maybe a little bit longer but I'm going to go ahead and use my cheesecloth that's you couldn't wring anything out of it but it's damp and I'm going to just hold it on the back do you see how you can begin to see the paper the that back paper gets wet and I'm just going to uh, do that as a matter of fact I actually usually do that uh, right after I put it down and let that let that dry but I'm going to try to take it up I start out in the middle with my finger and try to rub I'm going to turn on my alt light and hope that it doesn't glare so excuse me while I reach may glare but for this purpose that's okay okay so I have started rubbing this and you will see the little paper rolling up and then I just start rolling it out to this it toward from the center out and I can begin to see hold this up a little bit. I can begin to see the butterfly image and now I'm not rubbing hard at all I'm trying to control very gently rubbing it as the um, paper layer just rolls off And now I will let that completely dry. It's going to be pretty, isn't it? And I like a transfer sometimes. Um, at this stage. I would rather have a transfer. So I'm going to continue with this and I will share when I get it done. Mm -hmm.